Taylor here with AgriSpray Drones. Today we are doing a demonstration of the Agris T50's terrain following capabilities. Now if you guys aren't aware of the history of DJI spray drones, the Agris T20 and T30 had fantastic terrain following. The T40 had a different radar and kind of lacked in the terrain following capabilities. The Agris T50 brings that back in a big way with a massive radar on the back of the drone by the landing gear there that does your backward obstacle avoidance and your downward terrain following. It actually does predictive terrain following. So it senses ahead of the drone at what's coming, meaning the hill or the obstacle, and it predicts that terrain before it gets there and follows that terrain as it goes up and goes down. And the terrain is automatically controlled by the Agris T50. You set the height that you want it to fly over the crop and the radar does the rest. So we're gonna demonstrate that with a field that's got, well, plenty of terrain changes uh, for the demonstration here. I'm gonna show you guys a few things as far as speed and, um, and settings too. So before we take off on a field like this, we do have some terrain uh, challenges. We'll make sure we go into our settings, sensor settings. We're gonna put that on hill mode. This is a hill after all. Uh, hill mode and make sure that our altitude stabilization is turned on. Those are the only two things you need to, need to check. Um, and then as far as our height, whenever we're doing terrain like this, um, I typically like to run, you know, usually 12 feet high. Um, that way it gives the drone uh, enough clearance to be able to see what's in front of it under that, uh, with that radar. And then we'll set our flight speed to 23 feet per second and we'll increase as we go. Okay, let's get started. So this is all autonomous flight here. The drone's gonna take off by itself here, go to 29 feet and then go out to the start point. It's gonna lower down to that 12 foot high that I set it to fly. That's 12 foot high over the soybean canopy. We are flying soybeans today. So it's gonna sense that soybean canopy, stop there at 12 feet, and now it's gonna start spraying. And as it goes down that hill, you can watch it adjust altitude as it flies down the hill and then back up the other side. So this is slow, obviously. This is kind of baby steps here. We usually do this uh, whenever we're first starting to fly um, a field that has terrain challenges just to make sure everything looks good. And then we crank up the speed. So we can crank it up to 32.8 feet per second. The drone's gonna automatically adjust the rate, adjust the speed and keep terrain following. There it's turning back and you'll see it at high speed go down the hill and back up to this side. You can watch on my screen here, our altitude is on the bottom right now, and you can see that altitude fluctuate a bit, gets down to about 10 feet there as it goes up that small hill, and as it sees this uh, valley here, it's gonna increase and it's gonna start dropping. There's the drones going down that hill, so trying to keep pretty close to that 12 feet, and then back up the other side. This, this field like this is really a, a breeze for the Agris T50. Not a whole lot of terrain challenges here. We've flown fields that have grass back terraces. And as long as you operate correctly, meaning the right height above the crops, usually about uh, you know, between 12 and 13 feet, we're not gonna have any problems there. Just like that. So that big dip down and then right back up. Now the great thing about using a drone to do aerial application on fields like this is, well, how else would you do it? We've got power lines on one edge, we've got trees on that edge, we've got a power pole here, a big tree there. Uh, I don't know any ag pilots crazy enough to do fields like this uh, uh, safely and effectively, uh, especially down there as we dip down to the bottom. So a drone is really the only way to do uh, accurate terrain following, accurate aerial application, keeping our height, our rate, our speed, all of that um, within a really fine tolerance. There you see it just drop down and pick right back up. So drones in areas like this and fields like this are A, gonna provide a much more effective application uh, than let's just say a helicopter or an airplane would. Not only that, but it's a heck of a lot safer too. I mean, you think about, you know, some pilots might be crazy enough to risk their lives to do this. Uh, but why? Why, whenever you have a drone where if it, you know, for some reason does not see the terrain, does not pick up in time, 
while nobody's hurt, fix some parts in the drone and go back to work. That's really about it when it comes to terrain following. Uh, you, you're seeing everything that I'm seeing right now. You're seeing the drone go up and down the hill. If you guys have a field where you think, I don't think this drone can handle it, it's too steep, let us know. We'd love to come out there and see if you're accurate, see if you're right. And we have a dealer network that is willing and able to come to you, show you the T50 or T25 with the same radar system, fly your fields with hills like this, and hopefully do a much better job than what you're expecting. Reach out to us, let us know. Thanks.